Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's um, try this one. And we are going to use structural trust okay, for this. So let's start. So first create a structural trust trusses. And so if, uh, if you look at this one, so we're going to use, uh, so this point, so in this one, okay, in this one, so this point is the um, the base point, which is this and this. Okay, so this is the top of the truss, and we will need a, a lower level here. So so let's start. So first, create a new reference plan. Give it a height. Oh, sorry. Give it a dimension and create a parameter. Let's call it h h1. And okay, and then we need to create those. Um, so top core from here to here, and the rest. Uh, I'm gonna um, make the. I'm gonna use web. Okay, so yeah, actually, I'm I'm not quite sure that, um, whether there's a. So you. You can't, you can't use this or you can't use that because I'm not very uh, familiar with structure but so this is what I'm going to do so use this uh, place these two as web, web and also the horizontal one okay so um, that's it so let's now create a project and we're going to uh, before we place uh, this trust we need to load some structure framing okay so go to structure beam and load family so under so under go back so it's under um, it's in this structure framing. Okay, so I'm gonna use wood. Uh, maybe this one open. I just pick a size, maybe this one. And also uh, to make it easier for us to calculate, I'll just make it uh, not no not hundred by uh, three hundred for example. Oh sorry, ninety by three hundred. And um, okay, so. So this is one beam, and then we need also we need column. Okay, so column load. So go back, go back, and it's on the structure column here. And wood. So I'm going to use this one, and just pick a similar size. So and and also I'm going to just create a. A new type just uh, easier for us to calculate the size so 90 times 300 okay okay so now um, and also we need uh, a steel bar so this one so let's load a so it's beam as well so load so go back to structural framing steel uh, it's, here this one and I'm going to use 20 mil and the last one is oh actually we can place let's let's place the trust first so go load this into a project and we can place it but before that um, I want to have a, a couple of column first so column uh, this one yeah good and then change this to height maybe uh, I'll just to level one Okay, so space to flip us uh, rotate this column one here and I'll just copy this one to this side 20 meter okay so now we have two columns okay so from ground floor to level one and then we can place a, a, a truss okay so truss from this point to this point and okay so we need to set the frame so select this truss edit type 
So first top call. So we're going to use the um, naughty by 300 apply. Good. And then second, we're going to change this one. Okay. So um, actually, they are web um, webs. Uh, let's try this one. 990. Oh, that don't work. Uh, oh, sorry. This is vertical. Let's try di diagonal. No. Okay. So looks like I change this horizontal one as well. So um, that's fine. We can we can tab select it and change it to this. So good. And now, so this is a rough shape. So and then you can change the height. To, to match this. Oh, this is very very high. So yeah, similar some thing like that. Okay. So then the next step is so this is just only a shape, and then we need to. Uh, so if you look at this, so uh, there are two um, framing with a gap between. Um, I suggest at early stage don't uh, model them. So I will probably just model it as one uh, big beam. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just edit type, duplicate. So instead of naughty, so if imagine we have three beams, so the uh, two, three times naughty is 270 times 300. You know, okay? And 270, you know, okay? And then that's it. So you just we just need to. Um, oh, actually we can do this. So because we manually changed this one, which means we can just change the diagonal one to two seventy. That's it. And then we can just select them, and then you can drag them to you know, to to meet at the top. Um, yeah. So. Um, what's next? So now we can try to. Um, I'm not going to do all uh, all the detail, but I'll just to show you. So here, so um, so if you look at this, so it's a vertical cut. Um, to do this one, I think uh, I'm. I'm actually I'm not quite sure about all these tools. Uh, I don't know how to use them. <laughs> Probably not our. But I know that if I, um, we can do this. So let's go to elevation. Change this to median detail. So you will see this. So um, you can use reference plan in elevation. You can draw a reference plan here. So, so, so for example this, and you can go to modify. And cut, cut, and cut. That's it. Okay. So um, and so let's try this one as well. So this one go on pin, drag this, and you can cut. Oh, actually, hang on. So in here, so what we want is actually a um, miter. So uh, hang on. Let me just have a look. Can't really see. Yeah, just uh, maybe we uh, we need a mite join. So let's try. So if I do a reference plan here, so we can cut the we can cut this one. I think no problem. Okay, so we'll see. You can. Uh, hang on, let me just. Uh, yeah, that's better. So, but because this is a column. <laughs> I don't think we can. I don't think we can cut. Oh, hang on. We can. That's great. So that's good. So um, we can cut column as well. So that's great. So that's that's it. So you see, um, just manually cut using um, reference plan. So it's not hard. So let's do it on the. 
top here as well. So reference plan to go up. Okay, so just that's it. And then we need to extend them a little bit and go cut. Oh, cut, 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 cut. Yeah, that's it. So let's have a look in 3D view. That's quite nice. Okay, so now if you want to um, instead of have uh, one single beam, um, you want to have two with a gap. So uh, you can do this. So you can select this one, uh, change this one to the 90 by 301, and then we can just offset. So instead of uh, origin, you can change this one. So for example, you can change this one. So even you can just add a number, so y, 90. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the easiest way. Just you don't even need to, to change anything. Just offset it by 90, and then we can copy this. So Control C. Oh, looks like we can't Control C. That's fine. If we can't Control C, we can CC and type in zero. And that's it. So now we can type in negative 90. So now we have another one on the other side okay and then so uh, we need to cut this as well cut here but that will be easy just go to south cut 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 and that's it and um, so then we will need so here so see this I I think for this I will probably just use execution instead of use a beam so I'll show you so I just do it model in place so you can choose the category so if you wanted to keep this as the same category you can also use structural framing okay so and then execution set or plan pick a plan okay so pick the plan this one okay and then you can just go go to the front view so just draw so for example i want it to be this big and then uh, i know that uh, it is not thick so finish and that's it and also you can you can change the material to match if you want to so yeah that's that's it um you can create multiple um i think and then the last thing so these uh the bolts we can probably just model in place yeah i think that's that's pretty much it and it, yeah just add some bolts and uh, just more detail so now once you finish one and then of course you can uh, array so array so uh, let's try 0.5 meter just five okay um, looks like we have some issue here so let's have a look okay so um, most of so the trust is arrayed but missing one beam on the size missing one and I think that's and also all the where we cut we cut use uh, reference plan so it's just go back to ori original so yeah I think that's fine because I know that I noticed that um, there will be a lot of issue when we array uh, when we group um, structure stu structure beams structure columns when we group them uh, it's it's not a good idea <laughs> so I'll show you if I so for example if I go to so go to elevation trying to cut cut one of the beam in the group and Robert will tell us ah, this so it seems group and structure element doesn't work together so that's fine. We can just ungroup them. 
and just adjust them individually. So what I'm going to do is, so hang on, what's going on here? Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, oh, so it seems when we array array this um, member, it just stack stack on um, the same location. So probably I'll just uh, that's fine. So delete all four of them and. I'll try again. So I'll try array it and again. Five. Okay. So this time it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay. So that's good. So maybe I'll just ungroup them again. Okay. So so now what's this? Uh. Anyway, let's. Oh hell. Yeah. Oh, that's the issue when I array it. It's just on the different level. Let's control Z, control Z. Okay, so click on left, select it, array. Sorry, again, AR. Just make sure you. pick on the right spot okay that's good so now we can go to south elevation again so just manually um, cut it's quite easy to do it oh hell yeah. so I forgot to ungroup sa ungroup and go cut that's it now this one this one, all good, and this, yep, see that's not hard, <laughs> and then that's it, so you'll see all, uh, <laughs> let's ignore that, <laughs> yeah, so that's it, so basically just trust family to, um, Trust family first, and then you can adjust the height, adjust slope, and once you're happy, and then you can just add, uh, start to um, add more detail, and then that's it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you if you think I did something wrong, <laughs> please let me know as well. Okay, so um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.